sorry for doing a long time. Wait, let's, let's start our presentation today. Yes, uh, we're a four man team. So uh, we have Pachowski, Chen just not here today. He could not made it, Saturday. And Ben is right here. And my name is Eric as well. Thanks. So as you know, we have our like a landing page, uh, www.the-oldow.com, and then you get more than 50 details information about it, our, uh, our services and what we're doing. Thanks. This is what we're doing. We have small, medium businesses and startups to collect their KPIs, to analyze data, and provide meaningful like a data driven solution to them. So this is our team, as you've seen. Uh, I'm doing the uh, Ben and I, we are the founders. Ben um, be in charge with the technical part. I'm more in charge with the day to day, like task and property management. Chelsea, she's doing a, she's a um, business strategist. Uh, how about to give us some idea about how we're going to implement the business? And also, uh, Shan, she's doing the market um, uh, and analytics and market uh, information gathering. So in this market, this is the market we actually belongs to, is the business intelligence and data analytics. Uh, based on Gartner, so Gartner, we talk about, uh, has an estimation of about 2006, and this uh, business would be a $16.9 billion. And then the, in this uh, market, there will be four different segments. Tradition VI, which you can see uh, would be a very huge portion. You can see from uh, 2000, the data is from 2013 all the way to 2018. 70% of job made by the tradition um, business intelligence and data analytics tools. And as you see, uh, there were three different uh, the new uh, rising stars the cloud VI, mobile VI, and so forth VI as well. You can see these theories at the very top. Of the bar chart, that they're growing year by year. Next slide. So let's take a close. I wonder the growth rate and some of the trends for these sort of like three rising star. As you've seen from here, the data is all the way showing from 2014 to 2018. Um, one of the growth rate that ranked highest is basically it's a cloud BI. Raise up all of it, it, it's peak at 2017, it actually slowed down in 2018. The estimated for the growth in Cloud BI that would be um, 2.1 billion in the year 2018 is what they estimate. And we are actually located in this segment. Next slide, please. And here's some of the problems we'll find out. Why? Imagine like a small, medium business and uh, startups that work so hard, just like an ant, and they have so much pressure. They have a pressure for growth, they have a pressure for the budgets, they have the pressure for the time, profit timing, they also have the pressure about the talent. For example, they only have a five team, and what are you going to do with your data? They, they, after they, they have to, like, they're busy with their marketing, they're busy with their clients, they're busy with the, the product development, do they really have time to really look into their apps, for example? Do they really have time to look at their uh, user profile? They probably not. They probably need to, and also, they're short of money to hire a, a data analytics or a data scientist just for their apps. This costs too much. So that's why we stand out to say, hey, we could help. Next slide, please. So what data does, we help you grow. To what that is, we are your um, data analytics or data science. Um, we provide the data analytics service, and we also can help you to save a lot of money by just hiring a uh, or creating your own data analytics team. Yes. So these are the key features, and I will pass this to Ben. Thank you, Eric. Um, when you look at some of the key features or the uh, key performance um, indicators. Uh, the one thing that we noticed, uh, and I noticed when I'm working, uh, when I work for um, mobile games companies like WB, 
Um, we pay a lot of attention to some of the important metrics like um, retention analysis. Uh, when people use our app, are they coming back? Um, we look at the user lifetime values. How much does it cost us to uh, acquire a user and uh, how much does that, uh, how much time does that user spend using our app or purchasing our goods? Um, and a lot of these key metrics we use and incorporate that into smart marketing. So we're targeting specific user group segment, not just uh, doing a, an email class uh, to market to everyone. Um, we also offer something that you don't normally see with other um, analytics company. We offer uh, crash analysis. We can capture your app as a crash and capture the stack trace so you can find out at what point in your application does the application stop working. Um, that's also it's important because uh, it's related to user retention. If your apps keep crashing, people will stop using it. Um, we also do a lot of A-B testing. In fact, we have our own iOS app that we'll show later. Um, and based on the data that we collected, and based on the user analysis, we actually do behavior testing and change that. And this is how we catch the data. We have an SDK from various different uh, analytics platforms that we use, and we modify the SDK to capture the event that we want. And then based on that, whenever you use our app or whenever uh, people use our client's app, uh, the SDK will capture the important metrics, and then you can send it to our choice of platform uh, providers, and then based on that, we'll help build out dashboard metrics and other executive reports. Next. And uh, I'll pass it back to Eric. So here comes to our financial plan. This is our key assumptions for our financial plans. So the market size of the 500 list startups, we get this number from um, the Android list web. It's a web that they have uh, all the registered right now, startups there. And then the key component there would be an iStream app, which is their seed, to receive their seed of the stage. And they located located Silicon Valley, you want to walk forward very close to them. And then the third one would be, um, they are the startups, they bring in the type of things. Um, our, and our goal is the first year, we, um, we want to occupy the 10% uh, market share. And we also find out that the, uh, the profit margin we set would be 20%. And we expect the growth rate the first year that would be a uh, Thank you, there will be a startup growth calculator after we make our assumption, which is crunching this. So we um, get this one. So we let's have like to generate this. We get this chart. You see an expect growth rate. And then once you um, have your initial revenue uh, estimated, and it actually give you the capital needs, and also give you the break even years. And here would be a 9.0.9 uh, 0 .9 years. Thank you. And then it's like around 11 months. Next slide. So here is a price model uh, in the market. Pretty, uh, it's a pretty common one and popular. That's what you have to provide free trials, uh, premium trials and then as a subscription per month. So it depends on your different volume that you're using, we have a different categories. Next slide. So we're going to do our demo part, and I'm also going to show you guys a case study before you. Thank you, Eric. Um, as we go through our class project, uh, we actually start building and collecting data for, uh, from various different analytics uh, platforms. One of the analytics provider we use is Localytics. Um, and as you can see, uh, this is based on our apps. Um, you can, can you uh, go to users? Thank you. Um, yeah, so these are the usage for our iOS app. And as you can see up in top, yes, just hold it for a minute. Um, we also incorporate industry standard benchmark for our specific apps. Our apps fall into the educational market. Therefore, 
we actually incorporate the data from that industry uh, to our target. And then based on that, we can compare our app and see how it performed with the industry standard. As you can see, our app actually performed well above the industry standard, but that's because of uh, the nature of our app. Can you move uh, the cursor uh, a little bit to for today? So uh, today, we actually have a couple of users use our app, and as you can see, it's collected the data that we show the usage. Can you go to Flurry? So Flurry is also one of the uh, analytics provider that we use. Flurry is actually free. And as you can see, Flurry does have some really nice features. Um, can you go to, uh, actually Harris. Yes, go all the way down. So errors is where we capture the error that the app generated. As you can see, even though our app is very <laughs> simple, it doesn't generate any error, generate any crash. But if your app generate any crash at all, we can capture all of this, and we can capture the, uh, the crash information, the crash log as well, and we we'll help you to go through the crash log and figure out why this um, can you also go to events? Yes. So these are all the events that we use. Can you click on user path? User paths, right. So initially when we first start the app, we have very simple um, B tree, as you can see. So the screen is, screen is very simple. Um, and we go through our apps and we notice that the usage and the optimal path that we want doesn't exist. The user keep making the wrong assumption, wrong choices. So we modify our app based on the data that we collected here, and we modify it. So now, as you can see, the data actually changed, and there's children, uh, and the trees actually fully flash out. Can you click on the tiger touch? Yes. So before, the tiger touch screen, uh, when you touch it, people don't know what to do afterwards. <laughs> Uh, we modify that through A-B testing, and now when you click on the Tiger Touch, it's actually branched down into different events that we want. Can we click on the Tiger Plus B? Yes. So now, as you can see, this is the path that we want. And you can see the percentage of people going through and picking the optimal path that we want. And this is what we can do to help you. We can work with you to figure out what is the optimal path within your app and help you test and pick the right one and change number so that you get the optimal path you want. Right, what we do is we have a little bit app. We have an app to capture to generate data. Before like this is the time up. Time up. Our answer is, um, we're not just working with Flurry. We also offer you the option of exporting uh, data from Flurry to Flurry API so that we can export the data out and load, help you load it into your database itself in case we need to change um, platform provider. And people does do that. Um, that and you are right that Flurry captured the data yourself, but Flurry owned the data. You don't own the data. So the only way to actually own your data and be able to capture and keep the historical data would be to be able to extract the data out and import it into your own database. And we can help you with that. So the part of your business, they support the data from the independence, right? Data from the uh, actually, we offer a variety of services. In fact, that's why we say that we're different from other analytics team because we actually can't do, we can go through the data flow and help you extract the data from Flurry or direct it to any other flow that we want. In fact, that's the same question that our potential client asked yesterday. Uh, it's precisely that, and we can also 
because our management team includes not just Eric and myself, but uh, we also have two other members. Um, one of them is Joe Ponzio, and he is uh, one of the top um, data analysts and data scientists that we work with at WB. I guess about 11 years working uh, with analytics. And I, I worked with databases for about 25 years, including analytics. Uh, so I'll be the backup of Joe Ponzio, one of our management team members. We also have another management team member, um, David Berkman, who's very good at building um, uh, development application, especially mobile application. And we work together at um, Blue Mobile, which is one of the premier uh, mobile games company. Uh, so between Eric, me, Joe, and David Berkman, we probably have enough working experience to maybe get a, a senior citizen discount on a movie theater. Yes, yes, we can. Uh, both Flurry and um, Localytics offer you API to export to either CSV, export uh, formatted uh, logs, uh, or you can export to Amazon S3 as a file. You can also export it to uh, Amazon Redshift. Uh, and I'm familiar with all those uh, as well using the uh, API and so David Flurry. And we can help you export and import. We're basically not just data analysts, but we're experts with data, the flow of data, and how to capture data and how to export data, how to help you understand the data you collect and help you enhance the data. Uh, yes, both of us are. In fact, this project started out uh, last. Um, last marketing class and then we actually took it and talked to a couple of people and they want to become our client. That's why we started this project. And now we actually have about three potential clients. Even though they keep asking us, do you have this yesterday? And it's like, well, we're just, this is just a class that we just start. But now that you give us an idea, I think we're probably going to take it forward. In fact, their main concern was we want you to help us all the time, help us build our analytics, build our data. Um, can you spend the time that we need? And of course, our answer is yes, of course. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. The, the last tip.